Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Tom. I'm a white male standing dancer with a, Hi, with a bushy beard. I, um, I've got my own video on here, so I'm just going to stop that. Um, great. So uh, welcome. Uh, we're going to do um, an audio class, which um, yeah, it sounds a bit like a sound score. I think it might be quite different. So thanks, Nadan, for a brilliant session and everybody that was involved. There was a lot of you on my screen. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I, I want to offer an audio, an audio class. Uh, so I'm going to speak a score or uh, I'll, I'll give you some instructions that you can um, begin to dance and move with. Um, I encourage you to um, to turn away from the screen. I, in a in a in a few moments, I'm going to put up just a picture on my screen uh, so that you um, yeah to encourage you to turn away from the screen and just concentrate on your own moving and dancing, uh, following your own um, yeah your own rhythm or your own uh, desire. You can do what you like. Um, yeah, this, um, this uh, score kind of was influenced by um, a dance practitioner called Katie Ko um, and her, um, uh, she calls it a uh, arrival score. Um, and then a bit later on, I'm gonna read um, some text uh, from, um, actually from Katie as well. Um, it's a, it's a, a poem or a text that's called The Bony Afterwards, and that will feed into our dancing. Um, I'm going to quickly put in uh, Katie's website if you're interested in... Um, yeah, if you're interested to, to find out more about Katie's work. Okay, where am I? Here we are. Okay, so we're settling in. So I'm going to um, invite you to uh, to find a space in your um, in your room, um, in your nice clear space. Um, so move perhaps into the center, a place where you feel comfortable, and into a an easy working position. And I'm going to bring my image up so that you uh, can. Turn away from the screen as you like. Here it is. So hopefully you can see an image. Okay, and hopefully you can hear my voice. And I'm going to um, just give some invitations for you to move. So we're going to start by just beginning to move. So the invitation is begin to move without knowing necessarily um, what you're going to, how you're going to move or what kind of movement you're going to do, let's just begin to move. Nobody knows what's going to happen next, what movement's going to come out or happen, so um, it's okay, and nobody's watching you either. So just uh, moving, linking one move to the next and my next invitation is to move without stopping or without pausing and in order to navigate how you continuously move perhaps you can uh, tune into what it is that you feel like doing so it's not any kind of movement, really. It's just um, um, a kind of moving that feels good for you. We've had quite a busy day of lots of different classes, lots of information. So perhaps this is an opportunity just to process that information in moving. A bit like in the journaling session, just doodling, having a little draw. So just have a little move in the way that you would like to move just without pauses, continuous moving without stopping. So on top of my invitation, what's there with you now? 
Does the movement need to be small? Perhaps you're pretty tired by now. So that movement might be really uh, gentle. Or perhaps you're just getting going and you've got a lot of energy. So whatever your energy level, whatever um, you feel like doing, let's be continuous in our movement. And you can take center stage in your room and permission to really move in the way that you want to move. And as you're moving in the way that you would like to move, don't forget to invite your whole body in. So that means you're, you're thinking. Your physical body. Your breath. Breathing is really important. So invite the breathing in. That might change the breathing or the breathing might change the moving. Uh, everything is possible. So without stopping, continuous movement, following your own desire of what, how you would like to move, taking center stage, and perhaps inviting the the everything that's happened before the beginning of the day into this moving. Working with your energy level. No pauses. So uh, there's an invitation just to dive in what you're doing, keep going. Keep exploring through moving. Keep tuning into your, to your energy level, to your appetite, you could say, your appetite for moving. Do you need a bit uh, more time and space? Can you take that time and space? And I invite you to um, go on a journey with your movement. And that journey is guided by your appetite. How do I want to move now? And now? And now? And now? No pauses. So lots of things are happening at the same time. The following of the movement, the moving, the tuning into your appetite. Inviting the whole body in, body and breath and thinking. And let your eyes also be invited in. Whether you need to close them to really tune into the inside experience, or if you need to take a tour with your eyes around your room. Remembering that uh, there's not just the floor beneath you, but there is um, space all around and above, perhaps out the window too, And as the eyes see and the moving continuously uh, moves and the breath breathes 
and the moving never stops. Taking centre stage. Following your appetite. Is this really what I want to do now? Is it? And if it's a no or a, mm, I'm not sure, try something else. In your continuous moving, you can uh, change direction, change level, change rhythm, change uh, energy level, change size, change focus, inside or outside, eyes open and or eyes closed. going on the journey that changes with every movement. Continuous movement without pause. Whether you need rest or whether you need to go big, continuous movement Tuning in, asking the question, mm, what, do I, what do I really want to do now? And now, is it the same as before? No, it's different. Making changes, changing your mind. It's our prerogative to change our mind whenever we want. Perhaps you're really getting into your dancing now. Perhaps you found the thread that you're gonna follow or the breadcrumbs that you're going to uh, follow right into the, the forest of your dancing along the journey of your own dance, your own moving. We don't know where it's gonna go but there's a, a, perhaps an excitement to find out. Where am I going now? Oh, I didn't expect to go here. And your compass or your navigation system is the tuning in. Perhaps you're surprised what comes out and you just follow it. Or perhaps you really need to carefully consider, hmm, I think I need to do this next. Following the journey of your dancing without stopping. With the body and the breath invited in, the thinking to. The eyes open or and the eyes closed, space around, above and below. Diving in, deep into the forest. And if we go a little bit deeper into the body, into the moving, into the bones. Right in the center, let's go to the bones of the moving, the core of it. You can take that literally or metaphorically Perhaps your bone, your dance, your bones will move and dance. Perhaps you're finding the bones of your moving and dancing. It's the architecture. The skeleton is the architecture of your dancing. 
tuning into the architecture of your dancing and moving. And as you continue on your journey, I'm going to add some words, which is called um, The Boney Afterwards, written by Katie Coe. So your journey without pauses continues and you can let these words come in, into the bones perhaps, into the bones of your dancing, the architecture of your moving. Letting these words wash uh, through you, over you, in you. Perhaps they are words that strike strike you or inspire you or light a flame. And other words might drift by, and that's okay. So in our continuous moving, this is our bony afterwards. These bones ache for the past. They feel the present and they soften for the future. These bones were born soft. These bones feel tender today and they will one day become earth. They trace time and are traced in time and will trace time. These bones held me up, hold me up, and will hold me up still. They store my stories and they store up my blood. And these bones stare at each other across a messy organic sea. These bones are porous to my everything. They are a weather vane and a weather forecast. These bones are weathered and they are weather. These bones like to be held. They like to feel pressure and they strengthen with resistance. These words remind me of that. These bones don't know, but they do always do. I believe these bones can tell me everything I need to hear. They can tell me more than I dare to know. They are brainy and intelligent beyond my busy, narrow mind. These bones are form and they are forming. These bones carry me and they cradle my heart and move with my breath. These bones made more bones. A someone else's bones grew from these bones and these bones love those bones so deeply that they hurt when they remember it all. These bones stop everything in their path and they knock on the heaviest of doors. These bones cannot comprehend fear. These bones know how to knit and they know how to break and then mend and these bones know when to protect and when to give away. So in your continuous dancing, we will very soon come to the end. An invitation to find an ending with these moving bones to begin to finish, to come to settle.
to check in with your appetite. Is there satisfaction? Are you full up? And when you're ready, finding a place to rest. And we'll finish there. So you may not have quite finished and you may have to take your dancing into the next session, which is up in 10 minutes with Laura. Um, and she's going to be doing a final phrase, I believe. So thank you very much. Um, I will see you after Laura uh, for the, the final cool down, uh, resettle to rest. Um, you can click the uh, Stopgap logo um, to take you back to the main Stopgap stop gap YouTube page. And then from there, you can click on Laura's video and the countdown will come up and you will be there ready for when she starts in about nine minutes. Okay, thanks everybody. And uh, I will see you shortly.